Welcome to this second part of my videos on uh, reduction or iterated integrals. Uh, this is nothing but Room Mathematics Academy and uh, my problem here is uh, integrate cosine of x to the power of n and this is what we are going to use in the recursive uh, relation to be able to come up with uh, the integral for this function. So to get started of our solution. Um, I'll also perform the same trick I did for the sine and you know when you're told to integrate cosine of x to the power of n dx um, this is equivalent to actually mathematically equivalent to cosine of x to the power of n minus 1 cosine of you know um, x dx right so that's the mathematical equivalent to that. So instead of integrating this function here, we're going to integrate this one. And the trick is this power here is 1. And so when you multiply these two, the negative and the positive will go to reduce to 0. And so uh, any number is to power, okay, 0 is a 1. So it will get back to the cosine of x to the power of n. And so that mathematical equivalent equivalence holds true. So um, you're going to use the integration by parts here. And uh, we're going to let our u to be cosine of x to the power of n minus 1. And we perform the derivative of u with respect to x and we get n minus 1. Uh, cosine of x n minus 2. Um, and then when you differentiate that you get minus sine of x. right? So this is um, equal to n minus 1. Negative in front. Then cosine of x n minus 2 and then um, sine of x okay our dv is equals to cosine of x dx so v when you integrate cosine of x you get sine of x you don't need to add the constant of integration in this case uh, so uh, we continue with our integral here and whatever is on the left hand side of the equation or equal sign rather is the integral of cosine of x to the power of n so i don't have to write it but we'll proceed with the right hand side and try to perform the integral there using the recursive uh, relation so um using the integration by parts here we will have um my u u was cosine of x n minus one and then my v uh was nothing but sine of x so my formula says minus and so we have um, a component here that doesn't depend on x so that comes onto the front together with its sign so this reduces to a plus n minus 1 integral of cosine of n minus 2 sine of x and then now v is sine of x so we multiply by sine of x here then dx okay so the same thing happens here this is sine of x times sine of x so we reduce to sine square of x which again gives us um a good uh handy trig identity that will simplify this into two separate integrals okay so we continue with uh cosine of x to power n minus one sine of x uh, plus uh, n minus one uh integral of cosine of x to the power of n minus two sine square of x dx okay so we decompose this sine square of x into cosine of x so we have cosine of x n minus 1 as a power sine of x uh, plus n minus 1 then um integral of cosine of x n minus 2 um, into bracket 1 minus cosine square of x then dx right so here we have cosine of x n minus 1 sine of x plus n minus 1 we now have two separate integrals here integral of cosine of x n minus 2 uh, dx uh, minus n minus 1 integral of uh, this times that gives us cosine of x to the power of n dx okay and now we have to use the same trick we said now we have to let the integral of this cosine of x to the power of n to be i sub n and so we let i sub n to be equal to integral of cosine 
of x to the power of n dx. So where we have this into this kind of uh, expression, we are going to substitute with i sub n. And where we have um, n minus 2, we write i sub n minus 2. And so this gives us now i sub n on the right hand side, that on the left hand side, that's what we were going to integrate. And so we have um, i sub n equals to cosine of x n minus 1 sine of x uh, plus uh, n minus 1 and so this is like i sub n minus 2 because of this n minus 2 here and then minus uh, n minus 1 uh, i sub n so this is the same as the real integral that we were confronted with from the start so um now we create some space up here and uh, we are going to rewrite this one so we bring this to the left hand side and we add it and then we simplify so we're going to have um this gives us uh, i sub n is equals to cosine of x n minus one sine of x plus n minus one i sub n minus two minus n minus one i sub n right so bringing this to the left hand side and adding gives us i sub n plus n minus 1 i sub n is equals to uh, cosine of x n minus 1 sine x plus n minus 1 i sub n minus 2 okay so this gives us i sub n when you factorize and you have um uh, you have n because now this one simplifies that you have a 1 is equals to cosine of n minus 1 x there sine of x plus n minus 1 i sub n minus 2 so dividing by n so that we are left with i sub n as our real integral remember we have cosine of x n minus 1 sine of x plus n minus 1 i sub n minus 2 divide by n divide by n and so this is now our, our reduction or iterated integral for the cosine of n now tell me what value of n is and i will simplify the integral for you so if you have you know integral um integral of cosine of x to the power of 2 dx you now have to say now i sub 2 which is this integral here is going to be equal to cosine of 2 minus 1 that is cosine of x sine of x divide by 2 plus you know 2 minus 1 that's 1 1 over 2 then our uh, integral of cosine of x to the power of 0 dx right and so this becomes i sub 2 gives me um, cosine of x sine of x divided by 2 plus i have a uh, integral of um this cosine of x to the power of 0 is just a 1, so 1 dx. So this is um, i sub 2 is equals to cosine of x sine of x divided by 2 uh, plus a half x plus a constant of integration. So um, this is the same as integral of cosine square of x dx is the same as, you know, a half of cosine of x sine of x that's the same as you know a quarter of sine of 2x plus a half uh, x plus a constant and that makes sense so thank you